Well, hello. <laughs> um, how are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Very excited. Intrigued and excited. Good, good. Uh, well, my name is Noemi Banki, and we are, we are going to start studying today the inner self. And all this information is in the book, like I said already, Metaphysics by Ruben Sedenio. So all the, what we are going to say here is um, by Ruben Sedenio. He's the author. Well, first of all, Metaphysics. Metaphysics is the inner teaching of the current golden age of Master Sondermann. In other words, this is something new. This is not like... Mm, the inner self, or what is the inner self? So we are going to start, uh, we are going to see something completely new for this age. Sometimes it's called new age, but if you say new age, people might think of crystals or um, you, when you re they read the tarot. Tarot, yeah, this kind of thing, or Reiki. Well, and this, this metaphysics is not related to all those things. For that reason, we say the current golden age, which is a new term for some people. And, well, metaphysics, the word means what is beyond physics. This is what we are going to study. And physics, if we remember from the dictionary, is the scientific study of matter and energy. So we study both. What we see and we touch but also what we cannot see or touch and the effects that they have on each other. If we take into account the law of vibration, we will understand that matter and energy is the same. Matter is the matter and spirit is the same. Spirit is the, the high level of matter and matter is the low level of spirit, but they both are energy. Mm -hmm. All right, and beyond, like Connie Mendes. Connie Mendes was the um, uh, Rubens Sedenius teacher or facilitator. And she always said that metaphysics starts from here upwards. So everything down down here related to the body, it doesn't matter because metaphysics start here from what we think upwards. Any question about that? <laughs> no? Okay. Right. And well, why, why I'm going to study metaphysics? And I'm going to give some examples that people might think, okay, well, I need to be safe and I'm always afraid of something or accident or something wrong, something bad will happen. Well, that is one thing. So you are looking for safety. Or being smart. I'm not smart enough or I don't know how to do this or that. Well, someone who wants to be intelligent. Or someone who is lonely and they want someone to meet or uh, yeah, partner or friend or they are looking for someone for love and people who might want to be pretty, prettier and they, they want to improve their appearance and well, they or health also related to health people who are sick or oh, they have a, uh, certain conditions and they, they want help, they want to be healthy. Or people who need money, they, they have lack of things, uh, and they, they want money or be prosperous. And also people who might be or might have attachments to things, we Let's say that physically is the, the minority of people who are in prison, for example, but there is no, there are other attachments or like emotional or mental. Some people are, uh, have limitations that they cannot do something and they don't even try. They just say, no, I can't. 
And this is also related to this, to this back. So overall, well, suffering. We are suffering from for something. Or we are lack of something or we miss something. So the idea is that we res we are I forgot one other type of people who might think of metaphysics. Why should I study metaphysics? Because they might, might they they want to know who am I? And I would say that this is my case. When I saw metaphysics, the first time I, I saw the word metaphysics was on a book uh, by Connie Mendes um, in Spanish. <laughs> I was in Argentina. And a friend of mine, she had a book and she, she said, oh, look at this book. And I said, what is this? This is metaphysics. And I said, oh, okay. And I read the book from the beginning to the end, almost, I don't know, one day, two days, very quickly. And I said, oh my God, this is wonderful. And well, at that time I was with this, uh, who am I? Who am I? I was wondering, and still wondering, who am I? <laughs> but um, I, I have, yeah, I have many stories, like people, a, a friend of mine, for example, she started studying metaphysics because she wanted to have a house. And she, well, she started studying, became prosperous, and she got her house. And other people who was, uh, another person was sick, and with treatments, not only medical treatment, but also with metaphysics, they recover themselves. So there are many situations that we were, we want to study metaphysics. And like the Delphic precept in Apollo's temple, know thyself. If we know who we are, then I would say 100% of the problems are solved. And uh, we don't usually say problems because when we say problem, then you have created a problem. The idea mm -hmm. is that we start uh, educating our uh, way of speaking, and instead of saying problems, we can say another word like issue. Mm -hmm. Issue doesn't have the connotation of something negative. Yeah, it's, it's something that we, we want to solve, yes, mm -hmm. but it's not like, oh, that's a big problem. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. a problem. Mm -hmm. So know thyself. And this is the, the knowing that self is about the inner self. And develop the inner self is the maximum goal of metaphysics. We have different goals. So, for example, today is particularly this about the, the inner self. But every activity that we study, every activity at the top is always that knowing, know the self or develop your inner self. Okay. And this is a representation of ourself. Saint Paul said that we are spirit, soul, and body. And in the same way, the spirit is the I am presence. And it's represented with this big figure of light is the source of everything. And I have some examples here. I'm going to give it to you because it's very useful to have this and look at it every day to remind ourselves who am I and look at the picture and say, ah, this is that. But we are not like this. You don't see like this, uh, people like this, because this is like a GPS. If you want to go to, for example, Melbourne, well, if I'm in Melbourne, uh, I need a GPS to find the airport, to go um, to the museum, and I need a GPS. But when I look at the GPS, and 
I look at this fridge, I don't see exactly the same, so the things are different. Although the GPS helps me to get there. Well, this is the, our GPS. It's the way that we can find ourselves. And the, like I said, the first, the, the, the main part is the I am presence or our spirit, the inner self or um, inner Christ. If you are Catholic, you know the word Christ. And it sounds inner Christ means that perfect part in you, or consciousness, or soul. Inner self or soul are synonyms. And this is represented by this triangle with this lotus and our personality. This is the part that we are more familiar with. Our personality is composed of four sheets. And we are going to see them. So, at the end of the day, we realize that we are not our body. Some people get No, I don't. I, I wouldn't say annoyed, but depressed, maybe, because their body changed over time. Oh, I cannot run now. Oh, I cannot do this. Or oh, my body is different now. And that is because they identify themselves with the appearance. But this is just our container. It's just one part of ourselves. We are not that body. It's like this, I'm not my, my jumper. My jumper, yes, I need it, it covers me, uh, protects me from, from cold weather, yeah. But what happens if this gets ruined or old, I need to change it. The same with our appearance. Our personality is just temporary. But our I am present is I would say, I don't know, forever. It never died. It never died. Okay. So again, so two. Uh, the way that we learn is by repetition. So we are. I am presence. Would you like to repeat? So speak. I am presence. I am presence. We are inner self. Inner self. And personality. Personality. One more time. I am present in the self and personality. Do you want to get a go and say the three things again? I am present in a in a oh, inner self, inner self, and and personality. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So this is another way of being of uh, our being. The name Mona. Mona is the same as being itself, or Sat in Sanskrit, and it's represented by the blue ray. Atma is our consciousness of the being, and in Sanskrit is Chi, and it's represented by the golden ray. Um, Purdi is the well being, in Sanskrit is Ananda, and it's represented by the pink ray. If you have heard the word, maybe, Satchitananda, we are talking about ourselves. And, for example, I have here this. This is, what is this? A changer. Yes, like a remote. A remote, yeah. yeah. And the remote knows that it's a remote. Are you asking me that? Yeah. So, is the remote aware that it's a remote? You'd have to ask it. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you can speak. Yeah, I don't know because. Um... No, no, it doesn't. It's not. It, but this it's, is, it's energy, though, isn't it? It's energy, right? Perfect. But it has no. No consciousness, consciousness of being a remote. Exactly. We, as a humans, we, we are beings, 
and we have that consciousness, but we are not fully aware of who we are or what we are. Yeah. And well-being. So well-being is when actually it comes all, all at once. When, when we are aware of what we are, then well-being uh, manifests. And one more thing. We have the capacity, or we are able to be aware of who we are, but we need something. So in order to be aware of, have consciousness of my being, I need to stay out of the being. It's like in, in front of the mirror. I can see myself in the mirror, so I can see myself. So I can I need to go out. If if, mm -hmm. if I can if I can say that. To be aware. Okay. And this is the graphic, it's not very clear, but I'll try to max uh, zoom the, the image of the inner self. So our inner self is composed of three planes. One blue, which represents goodwill. The golden flame represents wisdom. And the pink flame represents love. Every human being is these three. Goodwill, wisdom, and love. But we are going to talk about this in more detail next in the next activity. For now, and just keep this, that the inner self is composed of three. Good will, good will wisdom, wisdom, and love. And again, good will, good will wisdom, wisdom, and love. And they are related to the color. So the blue is, good will, the golden is, wisdom, and the pink is, love. love. Easy, perfect. Okay. And as I said, our personality is composed of four sheets. Give me, I will give you an example. Uh, can you raise your hand? Yeah, thank you very much. And you can put it down. What did you do to move your hand? First of all, was it difficult or, di or easy? Easy. Easy. What did you do? What did I do? Yes. To do, to get that to happen? Yes. I listened to your question. Yes. Was a question or a request? A request. Yes. It was a request. I listened to the request. And something in me told me to do that. <laughs> yeah, and how did you, how can you move your hand? How, how did you do that? If we go in more detail. There was something in me guiding my hand. What is it? What is it? My will? Yes, okay, yes. You were straight away to the point. So the will, the will is, like we said recently, your will is, in other words, like we saw this, I will know. Goodwill. Yes, and this is what? What is these three virtues? The personality. No, no, it's not the personality. It's the inner. The what? The inner. Inner what? Self. Inner self. Correct. You went straight away to the point of inner self. But if we go step by step, you were able to move your hand because you thought. You use your thought, that is mental. Then, your emotions. You said, okay, it was so quickly that you don't realize all these steps. But you say, okay, do I want or not? Yeah. So, exactly <laughs> so. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, your thought and your emotions uh -huh. are connected. Then, what else? Vitality. If there is no blood in your um, 
muscles, if there is not that uh, energy coming from your nerves, you will not be able to finally move your arm, which is your physical aspect. Mm -hmm. So all this, this is what we are more familiar with, our physical shift or appearance, and this is what most people think that they are that. Say that again, please. Most people yeah. think that they are just oh, yeah, that yeah, piece yeah, of meat. Yeah, yeah. I call piece of meat. This is me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And if something happened to the body, the change, they... And I see that all the time. I am a physiotherapist. Ah. And all, I would say all, but uh, the vast majority of people come to say to see me to say, oh, I, this happened because I'm old. And I'm saying that no, you are not old. You are a soul. You are a soul. Exactly. They go, the one. Yeah. 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 Is the idea to, yes, we have our personality, but we are not just that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so now, talking about the inner self. Inner self, inner self goodness. We are talking about what we are here. So having a developed inner self is to have goodwill that copes with everything and everybody. Everyone, every single human, human, human being on earth, they, they have this inner self or they are this inner self. But this inner self sometimes is not fully awake. And how can we see? Because this actually, inner self is not like a muscle like I, I can touch or a bone. In itself, we are talking about a state of consciousness. We cannot see, but we can, what we can see is the actions. Having, a, having goodwill is when we, for example, we are willing to help someone. And it's good, because if someone has the, is willing to, to, I don't know, to kill, but that is not the inner self is the personality. And having a developed inner self is to be totally positive, to have faith in every situation. Totally positive, even... Um, even. Even, 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 <laughs> even covers it. <laughs> Even the, the worst case scenario that people think, oh, but what can you see here? Do you know the symbol of yin and yang? Yeah. Yin and yang represents, like, let's say, two drops. One following each other, chasing each other. And one is black and the other is white. And the black one, the black part, it has like a tiny white dot. And the white part has a tiny black dot. It means that in every situation we can see the positive aspect in every situation. But we need, like it says here, develop our inner self to connect with uh, that aspect. And to have faith. Do you have, if there is um, if you are going to fly, you are going to take the, uh, the plane. Do you are you or do you have faith that the plane will crash? Uh, I used to have faith I that the plane will crash. I used to think it would. No, but you think, but have faith in something wrong. Do you have faith? that they, cr they, they, they crash? They you have faith? Well, I'm just thinking when I used to fly, I mean, I still fly, I was terrified. Okay, but terrified is actually the opposite of faith. You were afraid of an accident. Yeah. 
Well, that is exactly the opposite. <laughs> and that is the time it's like yes, yeah. and everything. It is horrific. Well, faith is the opposite of fear. It means that you have faith only. Sorry. Faith means that we think that something good will happen. So you have faith that when you walk, you will not fall. Or you have faith if you, I don't know, if you go to the casino and you're gambling there, you have faith you want to win, you know, oh, I'm going to put the, I'm going the to lose. Yeah, yeah, I want to lose, yeah, I want to lose all my money. Or if you invest your money, so you always have faith on something good. And the opposite is the fear. So your inner self, if you are um, concentrating and thinking and feeling, okay, something good will happen. Now, next time that you will fly, you will say, I have faith, I, sorry, I have faith that I will have a good trip. And you say to you, you think, because how we, um, how we qualify the energy is our is through our personality. The faith is there, but if we are thinking of something negative, like for example the the, the example that we were saying about the the crash, then you are not connected with your inner self, you are just thinking. So, when we qualify the energy, like we, when we move our hand, we, need, we uh, use the quadrant of causation, which is thought, what we think, feeling, what we say, and what we do. Recap. Next time you are going to fly, you think, what are you going to think? Thought. What, what, what do you Thought. think? Thought. Yeah. The faith. Okay, but give me like a, like a, thought, yeah. like a, like a sentence. Um, I have, con like I have confidence that will be a good flight. Correct. I have confidence that I will have a good flight. Okay, that is your thought. Then come the feelings. Yes, I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure. And then you are saying the words you are, you are saying, is you are speaking out, and the action is that you are taking the flight and you say, yeah, I'm coming in with yeah. your... <laughs> that is, yeah. yeah. Now, your question. Yeah. Um, I feel very at home with all of this language. Um, and um, I got to a stage in thinking that this is uh, both my parents had passed and they were very different deaths right? but by the time my dad did he was 98 and, by the t and we had had many disagreements in life about life mm -hmm. right? he wanted me to believe this And I said, I believe this is how I understand it. You understand it that way. And it was not fun for a long time, but that was fine. By the end, it was fine. And I got to thinking that we're like vessels. You know, we're like, the body is like a boat. And the energy and the soul, the spirit, travels in it. And, and some people get half a breath, and that's their journey and other people get 120 years of journey. And so when my dad passed, um, I, that's very much how I understood life. And we were in the room and everyone walked out and the guy put a little flower in his jacket and I thought, well, if, if I really do believe that that's a vessel, this elderly 98-year-old vessel, I should be able to pick up the vessel. And so the family left and then the guys came, the funeral guys, and the trolley and the plastic. 
and I said, I'd like to help. And they just thought, well, she's in shock. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's in shock. And this beautiful man, he said, it's going to be noisy, meaning the plastic's noisy. I said, I know. And I said, what I'm going to say to you might seem really strange, but I said, for me, this is like an old rowboat, a 98-year-old rowboat that has journeyed really hard and the energy might still be here or it might have gone already and I'd like to help lift the vessel. And that was so beautiful, these two guys were beautiful. And he said, are you sure? I said, yeah. And gorgeous man, gorgeous, gorgeous man. I thought he gave me the way out, you know, it'll be noisy if you want to get out. I said, no, I'm fine. So he was there either side and we lifted up this old, worn out vessel and into the bag and the zip thing. And so I relate very much to it. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. One thing about you that we were saying is we, we count as years, like one year, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, but actually we live according to our breath. So the day we were born, we had a certain amount of breath. Breath? Breath. Yes. And I then, <laughs> um, this is yes how much we live that is yeah the, the years aren't can be it yeah, depends on how many years depends on our breath but that is a very very important yeah mm -hmm. but i think that's i think that's really intriguing that that some have one breath and some arrive and have no breath no i don't they they know they what do you call newborn, non newborn stillborn. Stillborn. Yeah. Yeah. And so so do you do you think that you have one go at life or lots of goes? Sorry, sorry? Do you think you have one go at life or do you think your energy has lots of goes? Okay, so that is sorry, no what I think yeah. is what uh, the uh, it is is we have a which is not today, today's topic, yeah, yeah. but just to, to answer your question, we have a divine plan of perfection. Yeah. When we were born, we, as, as souls, we have our divine plan of perfection, which, which is always something good. And it could be always the same, or can could be different things. Um, but yeah, that is... For another activity. Another activity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So we can say, my inner self can. Because it's the power. It's related to our power, our strength to do something. This is a decree. A decree is when we say something with confidence, thinking, feeling, saying, uh, speaking out. Uh, sometimes the decree can be also mentally, but today we are going to say speak, speaking out and action. So we will say, my inner self can. My inner self can. All right. Yes. But you just you need like more strength because you are talking about power. So my inner my self. My inner self can. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Now, the next aspect of the inner self is wisdom. So having a level of inner self is to be awake, realize who we are or what we are, is also a clear mind and being self-aware of everything. So that, that is when we are observing. And we can say, my inner self realizes. The decree? My, my inner, inner self, self realizes. realizes. My inner self realizes. And this is very important. Why? Because when something happens, we just want to go with our mind to qualify. Oh, this is really good. Or no, this is really bad. And we just try to qualify good or bad. If we act with this, with uh, being aware of the situation, 
we will not be affected by the situation, but we can learn. Okay, from this living, what what is my what what I learn, and this is when we can we can we will use this aspect. Remember, the inner self is 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 not in any particular um, location. It's not like our heart. It's everywhere. It's our consciousness. It's a state of consciousness. Inner self's love. Have, would you like to help me to read, please? Mm. Having a developed inner self is to love everybody, to serve, help, and give affection. It is to overlook our selfish love, to act, to solve a lack. And if you see, I try to emphasize, I try not, I emphasize by highlighting that we are talking about our actions here. When we talk about inner self, we are talking about what we do. And this is how we can really see that inner self through our actions. Love something, we, when we say love, the aspect of love, we just think of uh, the words like, oh, I love you, and just that's it. But if we go in more deep, we can see that love means also act. Do something, not for yourself, or even sometimes we can do something for others, but thinking of ourselves, but just to help somebody else. But we might not receive anything. And, well, I have an example. My, uh, my facilitator is Ruben Cedeño. And he travels all... Can you say that again? Yeah, my facilitator, yeah. the person who teaches me yeah. metaphysics, yeah is Ruben Cedeño, yeah. the same author of the, the book. Yeah. And he travels all around the world. He's Venezuelan, but he now he's in Argentina and he's going to Mexico. And then from Mexico, he will go to somewhere else. And then somewhere else to Spain. And then from Spain, and he's always traveling. Where is home? Home is where he is. Does he have a home? Does he have a physical building? Yes, yes, in Venezuela. In Venezuela. Yeah. yeah. But he, he... The earth is his home. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So he overlook his self-love because obviously, uh, who wants to, you know, sitting on your sofa, watching Netflix or any movie or, uh, I don't know, maybe Barry, you know, the, the, <laughs> the movie. Uh, everyone wants to do that, but instead he, instead of being at home just relaxing, he has the age of being retired. But no, he's still working and working harder than when he was actually working. He was a, a musician. Ah, what instrument? Uh, he's singing. Ah, yeah, and he's also a teacher. Uh, Singer, uh, sorry, I would say, I should say, he's an uh, academic musician. Ah, yeah. And um, well, that is when we express our love to others. Uh, of course, that there is one part of expressing love that we we know, which is which is. Uh, but it's not. There are many many ways to express love to uh, people just by acting um, unselfish. Yeah, unselfish. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So we can say the degree. My inner self loves. And when I, we talk about love, is I, I don't know always, but sometimes it's easy to love the people who we love, like they are nice with us. That is pretty much easy. But when you really need to, not me, but your challenge is to love those who are not really, I don't know, you don't get along with them very easily. 
So that is our challenge. And this is when the inner self can help us to, okay, this person, I don't really like this person because the, the behavior or something. So we can say, okay, I will work with my, to develop love through, uh, towards this person. <clears throat> and it's magic because when you practice this, then your relationship change completely. It's 100% different. <laughs> And another aspect of the inner self is harmony. Having a developed inner self is to be harmonious, beautiful, elegant, and radiant, with an attitude of improvement and elevation towards everybody, every situation, and everything. So from harmony, we talk about ourselves. And harmony in the way that we uh, are dressed, for example. There is a rule of. Um, I try to remember where I learned this. I don't remember now, but there is a rule of three colors. Uh, if you wear. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> if you wear three colors. Up to three colors is okay. More than three? Mm, more Wrong. than three. Okay, one, two, three, or four. I've got four. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, um, the texture, the, 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 the clothes, like the type of clothes we wear, uh, the shoes. I see so many people with thongs, and I say, and I say to themselves, first of all, it's not ergonomic for your feet, yeah. and it's not elegant. So, Proper shoes, um, of course, like apart from the clothes, clean and um, iron, yeah. so all the things. Uh, and the ladies sometimes, I don't know here, but in Argentina, this is very common. The lady who is cooking yeah. and they, oh, I need potato. And they, 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 they don't even realize what they have on and they just go to the supermarket and say, ah, oh, that doesn't matter, whatever, nobody will, will see me. And then maybe you just met, I don't know, uh, your, your possible next uh, boss or someone is, somewhere is, someone is there that you think, oh my God, this person will see me and you'll get embarrassed. So the idea to avoid that is always elegant, always harmonious. And that is when uh, the person becomes beautiful. It's not just the, the appearance, it's how we are dressed, how we speak, um, our behavior, at, at, for example, at the table, how we eat is also I see people eating on the street, for example, and this is it's, it's horrible, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> they are walking and eating at the same time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is our aspect of harmony. And then what happened? Harmony is related to avoid mistakes. The person who is eating, walking, have, it is more likely that they, they will um, spill. spill or something on the clothes. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or drinking coffee. <laughs> Although I do sometimes when I try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Lips are sealed. <laughs> okay, so we can say my inner self harmonizes. <clears throat> this is magic. Magic in terms of when you are in harmony with yourself, nobody can move you from there. Whatever they say, whatever they do, if you are in harmony with yourself, so my inner self harmonizes, no, the rest of the world doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Now, the inner self truth. Having a developed inner self is to be truthful 
at any time and to uncover the truth for others. Truth is represented in, in, in the Greek aspect of Athena, and she has, if you see the, uh, her statue, I have, I have one at home, I'm gonna I'm bring it next time. She has a helmet, she has a shell, she has like a, oh, like a, a shield. A shield, yes. A thin, um, what do you call the, uh, like a stick, but stick to, to protect herself. Like a spear. Yes, spear, thank you. All these things to protect herself. Mm. So it means that the truth, you don't have to defend, defend yourself. If you are truly, and you are truly when you speak, the truth always will protect you. Mm -hmm. But you must be truthful always. You cannot say, oh, well, but I just, you know, tiny lie or the white lie. No. <laughs> Any lies. So the truth will protect. And having, sorry, the inner self prosperity. Would you like to read that? Yeah. Having a developed inner self is to be prosperous with no lacks and if there is a lack we precipitate our inner self some people blame about economical or financial situation they blame the government or they blame the market or they always blame someone or their employers or and if you realize that your inner self is the source of your prosperity you have all covered. Now, there is one thing. How we connect with ourselves? Through four things, from four elements, let's say. And they are thoughts, thoughts feelings, feelings, speech, talk, word, yeah, words, and, and, action. and actions. If you want to express prosperity, you must not say never, never, never again, oh, this is too expensive. Oh, now traveling is too expensive. Or the house, buying a house, ah, the prices are too expensive. Or the other expression like, I cannot afford it. Oh, would you like to have holidays, I don't know, um, in the Bahamas. Oh, but I can't afford it. Those kind of things we are creating and for that reason we don't express prosperity. Because in ourselves we have everything. We just need to quantify the energy through thought, feeling, by saying, my inner self provides. Have you heard the expression, God will provide? It's the same. It's my inner self provides. You will not rely on anything or anybody except your inner self. Now, to develop or to express prosperity, another thing is don't think of money. Most people say, oh, but let me see how much I have in my pocket or, my, or in my bank account. Don't think that everything comes through money. Open your mind to any possibility. Any possibility it can be a gift, you can have a discount. Many things can happen. So when you want something, a, a tree, you want you know, a pair of shoes, a uh, house, what, whatever it could, could be, doesn't matter if it's small or big, just think and use these four things, the thought, the feeling, the words and the action to say, my inner self provides. When the bills come, oh look how much we need to, to pay now in bills. No, you're not going to be rich anymore. You're going to say, my inner self provides. Yeah, and in terms of bills, I have one which is, is very good, one decree, which is this is already paid. 
The bill is already paid. Thank you, Father. Always we thank you before the demonstration. It's our demonstration of faith. Inner self freedom. Having a developed inner self is to be free from trauma, conditions, neurosis, and attachments. It is to be compassionate, seeing others from hunger, pain, suffering, sadness, misunderstanding, or need, and help them to solve it. It is to always forgive no matter the harm done to us, what was said or thought. This aspect of our inner self has a lot of uh, actions here. So first thing, to be free. And I will just take one example of that condition. Someone with, let's say, arthrosis, osteoarthrosis. And they say, oh, because my osteoarthrosis is my knee. And they always increase and encourage that the osteoarthritis, oh, I cannot do that because my, my, so possession, osteoarthritis, uh, osteoarthritis, sorry, osteoarthritis. They are um, attached to that condition. So they need to free themselves from that. So don't give it power. Um, but we are going to say we create now in a, in a moment. The so other, does that mean to um, like to not think about it, or like I, I have a couple of friends who have that kind of thing happening, and so is it like hel healthier for them to have like an affirmation almost to say? I am healing or so if you have that condition, if you have that osteo everything, um, so what what is the best thing for that person to do? The, so and again the for the pattern of causation, sadly. So first the thought. The, and I have to go again to the symbol of yin and yang mm. because this is the law of polarity, the two, the two poles. Yeah. One pole is illness yeah. and the other pole is? Well-being. Well-being or health. Yeah. Well, I've had a big day, sorry. That's a good one. The, um, the condition or the, the condition, whatever it is, yeah. is on one part. So now you mentally can connect with the opposite pole, which is health, by saying, I'm healthy. The person, if you ask them, and uh, the person never says I'm healthy. They always talk about the illness or the condition, yeah. or my, my headache, or my uh, ankle sprain, or my bad leg. Always talk about the, but they don't really, don't affirm the opposite, which is unhealthy. So thoughts, feeling of feeling well, feeling um, connect with the degree. When I say unhealthy, the um, the say it aloud to yourself, even in the in front of the mirror when you get up in the morning, you say I'm healthy. And the fourth is the action. The action, in terms of conditions like um, like we are talking, is just take the action to take medication, do the exercise, go to the doctor, to go to the specialist, do the action. But at the same time, work with the the other three parts. Yeah, the doctor, the GP, cannot work with your thoughts. They just can give you a medication yeah. or an exercise if you go to the physiotherapist. Mm. So that part you can work with you, within you or in you to uh, improve your health condition. Mm -hmm. And you sit free from that. Now, uh, talking about that, um, I think my mom said that, if you're 60 and you don't have any pain, you're dead, she said. 
if you're 60 if you're have, 60 or over and you have no pain, pain you are dead you know the you know the expression or not no no okay no so it means that you always have no i think here or here yeah, yeah, or yeah. here so if you have let's say pain okay take the action take the medication and don't say it don't go to your friend and say, hey, how are you today? Oh, you know, my knee pain is terrible today. I cannot move my leg. Don't talk. Although it's there, but don't give power to that pain. And the pain, you see, comes and goes, it will go eventually. But if you are... So do you, do you think you create your... Do you create your condition? It's not what I think, <laughs> it's how the energy, how we manage the energy, like we said today. The energy that we are able to move our body comes from the I am presence, the, the source, the life. Then comes a little bit lower and our inner self manage that energy, otherwise we will burn, we will too much, too much energy. So the inner self gradually gives us that energy. And we use the energy when we start thinking. Whatever you think you are creating. And if you are just, instead of saying just that moment you are thinking, oh, I'm healthy, instead of uh, I, I have pain, then you are creating pain. But there's not just one cause of uh, illness. There are other law, this is the law of mentalism, and there is another law which acts also, and is the law of cause and effect. But that is an, again another topic for another activity uh, that also provokes the, those things. Okay. But today we, we just can work on that with the uh, decree. The decree is what we say. To be compassionate to all, not only look your belly button and say me, 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 me. Just look others, so see others and see what, how they are living. And to always forgive. And forgiveness is something like free you. Even though you say to the person, oh, forgive me. The person is, they have free will to forgive you or not. But the magic thing is when you, let's say, ask for forgiveness to another person, you are setting your, yourself free. Mm -hmm. And that situation doesn't affect you anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's just two words. Forgive me. That's it. This is magic. <clears throat> oh, well, the decrees, we can say, my inner self sets me free. Here there are some examples of people who uh, they, they have their inner self developed. And one, for example, is Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, he uh, free India with no violence. Yeah. No killing yeah. uh, being. Mandela, he also frees South Africa. Uh, Mother Teresa of Kolkata, she was helping the poor. Uh, M.F. Fox, Krishnamurti, they were... Um, so M.F. Fox was Ireland, uh, uh, English? Sorry. Irish. Irish, thank you. Um, he went to America. He, uh, he actually was the, the person who started talking about metaphysics in America. Ah. And Connie Mendes met Emmett Fox in, ah. in North America. North America. And then while well, Connie Mendes taught uh, Ruben Sudenio. Ah. And that ah. is the ah. guy. Ah. Mm -hmm. Krishnamurti, he was an Indian uh, philosopher. He also was traveling all around the world teaching. Pitagora, well, uh, helping all with math, uh, theorems, Jesus, 
with all his life, he was the expression itself of a developed inner self. And when you see Jesus, I don't know, are you Catholic or do you practice I was I was brought up in a very strict Catholic family, but that's not my understanding. Now. Ah, like uh, the Roman uh, every yeah yes. mass every day, rosary every night, the whole lot. Okay, so very, you know very, about very strict. Ah, uh, okay, like dogma of faith. very strict. Mm. But do you know the story of Jesus? Oh yeah, yeah. He was able to cure. Uh, ill people, he was able to precipitate uh, food with a lot of people when they were uh, hungry, they resurrected his friend Lazarus, he resurrected himself, and he said, what I do, you can do, and bigger, bigger things. Muhammad, well he was the um, prophet of Islam, Riban Khalid, Riban, he's a Lebanese poet. Wonderful. Yeah. Patanjali, he uh, wrote the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, mm -hmm. uh, which is related to meditation. And uh, Gautama Buddha, he, uh, he also um, he taught about knowing knowing their, know your, yourself uh, in a very practical way, not as a religion. Some people call Buddhism, but Buddhism doesn't exist because Buddhism is not a religion. He never uh, thought about having um, like, like a doctrine, like, like for example Catholicism, that they have rules and dogmas and a lot of things. He just taught others how to be aware of things, everything actually. And Mozart, well Mozart was, he was composing when he was only four years old, he was <laughs> absolutely an ASL developed. <laughs> in so I wonder where, where did that come from, where did the Mozart come from? Like how, how does that work, how does a four year old know that? Well, that is because our I am presence and our inner self, they, they don't die. What dies is the, like you call the vessel, which is our appearance. Our thoughts, they, they are gone. Our feelings, they are gone. Everything that's temporary, they, they just finish. But your inner self doesn't die. So every time, like uh, life is eternal. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to learn something, can you learn the? So, if you go to school, how many years do we have? Twelve years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Why? Why twelve years and not one day? Why do we need to go 12 years, spend how many hours, I don't know, uh, sitting to learn instead of one day? Maybe we don't need all the 12 years. <laughs> ah, we, we probably need more because then you finish school and then you start uni. It all or depends uh, what you're taught at school. Yeah, exactly. So we need that time in order to learn all these things math, literature, history, geography, blah, 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 blah. The same with us. We have an information and we learn something. Maybe being a mother, be an architect, be a nurse, be a police officer, and then we are born again and we learn something else. We, we learn how to be um, a doctor, how to be a lawyer, how to be a you know, cleaner, and we, through our information, we learn, we are learning. Mm -hmm. So, if you need the immediate solution to a situation, or if you need to pass an exam, or if you need love, 
or if you need to embellish yourself. When you want to see the truth in a situation, the, the document or mm, this person, I don't know if they are hiding something, so I want to see the truth. Or if you want to meet a need or have peace, or if you need to forgive someone, well, the inner self in you is the perfect help in everything you want. The solution to all situations. You don't have to look outside, it's all in you. And you just need to visualize it. Involve it and acknowledge it as the solution to what you require. So you can tonight, before going to bed, or tomorrow morning when you get up in the morning, wake up, so you sit in a quiet place, you don't have to go to any specific, like a park or a, the beach, just even in your own bed, you can do it. Sit, close your eyes, and actually, we are, we, we, we do, we are doing now, just, the practice, practical. Okay. All right. And there are two ways of sitting. The Indian way, like when you are, you know, cross your legs and your hands, or just on a chair uh, with your feet on the on the ground and your back. Um, uh, uh, touching the chair and your hands will be the uh, left down and the right up all right and then we're going to close the eyes and we are going to observe our posture without moving even our lips. And observing the posture, we are, we are like uh, going through our feet, legs, knees, thighs, hips, buttocks, our abdomen, our genital area, our lower back, upper back, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, chest, neck. to keep our attention in our nose. Breathe in and breathe out without controlling the breathing. Just observing. Following the air will come in through our nose. And if there is any thought or any sensation or any memory, just observe and then come back to our breathing. Being a 
aware of our rhythm of breathing. It is short and fast or long and slow or neither. And the idea that we practice this exercise every day. So we connect the same way that we maintain our body, uh, like we feed our body, we drink water. Well, the same with our inner self. Now, every day, as we have a shower every day, we have this time that there's not a certain amount of time, it can be minutes, can be hours, to stay in that position and just ignore everything else. And I bless my inner self. This is what we can say at the end of that uh, meditation. We meditate actually. But we don't meditate on a lake or on a flower or on a sound or a smell. We just focus on our, our, our reality, what happens with us, with our body, the sensation that they are impermanent, they come and go, and our thoughts. <coughs> I bless my inner self. Is when blessing means we are multiplying. So when I say I bless my inner self, actually, I'm what I'm. In, I'm cultivating is my uh, goodwill, wisdom, and love. And I bless your inner self. When you see someone, a friend, uh, a family member, or even when you go to, <clears throat> to the supermarket and the person who you see in front of you, you can say this, say mentally, I bless your inner self. There's a story about Connie Mendes and one, uh, with Ruben and Katiuska Cordillo. And they met a person in one trip. And that person, for some reason, they, they, he, uh, he was a, a, um, a guy. He was telling them about an issue that he had. Well, the, 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 he told, because Connie Mendes, she was a very uh, famous, um, uh, she was a personality, a uh, singer. And so that person saw Connie Mendes and he talked to her. Well, the, the long story short, so when they left that guy, they were talking about what he said. And Katiuska said to Connie, don't worry, Connie. Because when he was talking, I was saying, I bless your inner self, I bless oh, your inner self. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. I'll tell you about goosebumps. I asked somebody once, says, I've got goosebumps. I said, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> uh, and I, I said to this person, what are goosebumps? And I love this. I love this. She said, it's life 
giving you a shake because the moment is so special. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, but that is a sensation. See how it comes and goes? <laughs> uh, so every person around you. And when you are doing that, actually you are, so, you are doing to yourself as well. Mm -hmm. I bless your inner self. You are actually blessing your inner self. Yeah. Like, like a feedback. So, do you know about the, the stages of learning? No? Let's have a look. So when we learn something, everybody, we are, through, we are going through this process. So number one, step number one is unconscious incompetent. And we are talking about the inner self, how many people we know that they are unconscious of the inner self and they are incompetent. It means they, they don't know what they can do because they are unconscious. Now, second step, and this is how we are at the moment, is conscious but incompetent. You already know about your inner self. From today, your life is before and after. And from today you became aware of your inner self and all the power, all the wisdom, all the love is within you. Now, the next step is being conscious and competent. If you use this, if you meditate every day, if you bless your inner self, if you bless the inner self in others and if you work with all these virtues, then you became one day unconscious competent. Means that when you don't think, but you just you just do it. And I'll give you another example. Walking. Walking, you are in this stage. Do you think when you walk? No. You just walk. Is unconscious competent. You know how to walk even in an, an even surface, you just walk. You don't think about it. But some, some for, for example, and there are all the things that we ignore. And this is what Gautama taught. The cause of suffering is ignorance. Being unconscious. So we are in this process of learning. Mm. Can take this lifetime can take more to, to, be, to become con unconscious competent of our inner self. Doesn't matter, we just started the uh, process. Any question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank ah. you! <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, the next activity will be next Monday at 6 p.m. here and I'm going just to uh, let me see this okay uh.